Let's see, I had a question for each one actually, I think. For Jennifer, mine was um, with the Library of Congress, um, were those descriptions that she um, accented so much, were they added by like people at the Library of Congress or did they, those photographs come with all those descriptions? Those are the real captions. By the photographers or by Well, the like which one did you mean? Well, all, not any one in particular, but I mean, just you were pointing out how the descriptions added a whole dimension of um, racism to the lot of the pictures. So I thought, did the Library of Congress librarians okay, add those? For, for instance, uh, no, we don't. What we do is, if the caption came with the photograph, we make clear in the catalog that that, that is the caption. So if it says squaw, we don't change it to woman. We keep that, and then we. If we have more information, we describe it later in um, terms that show that we added that information. From the very, very beginning when you first, they first started collecting those, wasn't that a very long time ago? I thought... Yes. So always the librarians never added their own like, damaging description. Those all came with them. Yes. Okay. And then for... Um, <laughs> Let me guess. <laughs> Shanina. Shanina. Um, two things. Did you um, are all of those industrial surveys uh, uh, that you in the archives were they all located on each separate um, reservation? I guess is it are they a federal government um, property or do they belong to the Indian people? Oh no, it's federal. These are federal records. Federal. So they're as federal records. They're in the National Archives. Bureau, it's under what's called Record Group 75, Records of the Bureau of Indian Affairs. And then they're all located on each? Yeah, and, and what, what I was saying about the Hopi ones, the reason they're hard, to, individual ones are hard to find sometimes, what we discovered is each box, archival box, has a label on it, right? And one label might, for instance, be... Um, Swinomish, which is a agency in Washington, dash Tongue River. And what that means is it's alphabetical. And everything that's alphabetically between S, W, and T, O is in there. But the people who pull these records, if they don't see that on the box, they'll come back and tell you they don't exist. Do you have to travel? I don't know. Oh, yes. I don't know. You have to travel there to ask for those things. You can't yeah. have them sent to you as no. a researcher. Mm -hmm. And then the, third, the last question was, do you have a, a book or any, paper, or any papers or maybe your dissertation paper of all this interesting, the before, after, and all your, just your whole thoughts? <coughs> that is all work in progress right now, so it has not as yet been published. I want it when Yeah, I was just gonna um, maybe maybe some of you um, um, people like maybe Andy and Terry might know this also, but um, as far as archivalness of uh, silver gel uh, gelatin silver prints, uh, is the Smithsonian or any other uh, museums uh, uh, working towards uh, just uh, maybe um, scanning your images? What are you guys doing about the black and whites? Uh, um, Maybe you're scanning them and, and uh, making negatives with a, a film recorder, or, or, or what, what process are you guys doing as far as ar archival of these images? Thank you. All right. Um, <clears throat> well, first of all, we, we've moved to Suitland, Maryland, and as part of that move, all of the photographs were sleeved and rehoused in an attempt to preserve the original documents, and they're now in temperature and humidity controlled environment. We've got major funding and we've been scanning the images. We started with the glass plates, but we're going to all the silver gelatin. And because we have over 100,000, and if you know scanning, it takes a bit of time. But I think we probably have upwards of 10,000 that are now scanned. And most of them are available on the web. And it is an ongoing project to, to go through all the collections. And we've just recently received another Save America's Treasures grant that I was proud to be part of. Um, to do further research on deterioration and preservation of the images. Are there any other questions? 